Here is our five week baby. Woo, check her out. There's really not much to see as far as I go. My tummy is about the same, so we don't really need to show it. It's a little bit there, but most of it, most of it's gone, but you know, I still have a little bit to work off, and I'm gonna have to exercise to get that off. But let's talk about the baby uh, first and then we'll get into me. So she's five weeks now and she can see across the room uh, a lot better than she was before. When they're first born, they're only supposed to be able to see from their chest, you know, about to your eyes. And that's about it. But she can see across the room, I can tell because she's looking at people across the room. Uh, she follows me across the room like when her dad is holding her and that's really exciting uh, she's smiling a lot when she first wakes up and she's next to me we'll you know look into each other's eyes and she'll smile and I love that she's way more playful so I'm getting excited you know I can tell that she's gonna start playing more uh, she's exploring with her legs now now let me sit you up baby she kind of likes <laughs> she likes sitting up but she can't sit up well so I kind of have to hold her up uh, she's but she's been exploring with her legs. She stretches them out when she first came out. You know, she kept them kind of in that that infant position where they're like stuck to her. But she's stretching out now. Uh, she gives me more eye contact when we're feeding. She can see the nip a lot better. I could tell. Uh, she seems to be more aware of me and and she knows who I am and that's exciting that really makes me happy she clenches up uh, when she hears noises that she doesn't like but she's done that since she's in the womb but I thought that was kind of a fun fact to mention I think she's trying to talk to us right now <laughs> she makes lots of noises she always has though it's just the beginning she grunts and things it's so hilarious uh, bottle feeding is getting a lot easier for her now um, she's able to drink the milk uh, she's still unfamiliar with the bottle nipple at this point but you know she's doing a lot better she can hold the pacifier longer now instead of like 30 seconds she can hold it for like three to five minutes or so uh, she had her first time going to church this week and she did really well with that only one cry once a feeder she was good after that uh, her skin is getting better. Uh, she broke out, you know, with that Johnson & Johnson. I believe that's what broke her out. Uh, and she's still recovering. I think she also had baby, baby acne, you know, going on, but the combination. Oh, she got a new bouncer, and, you know, she's slowly easing into it. She seems to like it a little bit more and more. Uh, she... <laughs> She does not like lullabies very much, depending on the lullaby. She likes her hip hop music a lot better. Uh, <laughs> Alright, watch this. This is a regular baby lullaby. I start to lean into your reality. The truth is now fallacy. The past is irrelevant. The present has resonance, and it is evident that God is trying to take residence. The world is running rampant, full of liars, backsliders, hypocrites, and heathens playing with the devil's fire. You remain lukewarm, being spewed from his mouth, letting flesh conquer your spirit, weighing in the fear and doubt. And it's just a matter of time before the lies get you caught up and you meet your demise. It's time to wake up. This is not a game. You're playing with your life, sold your soul for some fame. Ah. Her legs are getting a lot fatter and she is extremely positional. She likes sitting up more than anything else, but she will let you lay her down a little bit. 
So we had to take a break, get the fans, so if you see the background noise, sorry about that. But that's why she was making all those noises, because she was hot, and so it's more important that she's not hot. So hopefully you guys don't mind the fan, if you guys can hear it. It's kind of a low fan, but just in case. Uh, let's talk about me. So stretch marks, I noticed that I had them about 38 weeks into my pregnancy, right below my belly button. Um, they weren't very prominent, but they are some, definitely they're there. There's some stretch marks there. Also found some on my thigh, my hip. Uh, last week so I was like wow but they're really small so it is worth it it's not that big of a deal um, my feet have been hurting a lot I don't know why that is I thought that it was soft after pregnancy but then again I am flat-footed so there's that <laughs> and I've always had problems with that I now have a system for the bathroom and <laughs> changing her um, when I'm in the bathroom I just have to either put her in her car seat or if her dad is here just let him hold her and that seems to be working out pretty well for us. I still have soreness. I'm still using those witch hazel pads uh, down there. I am getting into a schedule which is helping me a lot more. Um, my stomach is slowly starting to lighten. Everything got darker when I was pregnant so my skin is still dark darker than it was before but it's definitely starting to lighten up everything else has lightened up except my stomach is still struggling to lighten up uh, breast pumping is getting a whole lot better I have the Medela breast pump and the breast pump phalanges that I had were too small so I'm really excited that I got bigger ones because I'm getting way more milk and I am hoping to start to increase my milk supply at this point so anyways that's pretty much all updates for us I hope that you guys enjoyed it please leave comments below subscribe if you haven't already we love you very much thanks for watching and we'll see you next monday eye to eye contact she responds a lot better and i feel like it's because she knows that you're there she knows that you're not just gonna leave or she's but i was like you know what whatever i really don't care that much my mom told me that she had gotten some medicine and i just was like i want to get this going i was